Hey guys, welcome to this week's bargain of the week. I have something fun for you from Amazon that I found and I am completely obsessed with large powder brushes. Like I want the biggest, giantest, fluffiest powder brush you can find. And the one that I love that I covet and I pet constantly when I go to Ulta is the It Cosmetics powder brush. And it's $40 and um, that's not that expensive, but you know, um, who wants to spend 40 bucks? So somebody pointed out to me they found an It Cosmetic brush, an It Cosmetics dupe on eBay. So I did some digging of my own and I actually found, I don't know if it's the same one, but I found this brush on Amazon and I love it. And yes, it's dirty. Sorry. Oh, I just used it. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I did. So this is from a brand Clotho Beauty, Clotho Beauty, I guess. Um, that's the name of the Amazon store. And I think I did get this on Prime. So yay for like two day shipping. Um, what I love about this, it was, I think, 14 or $12. If you guys notice, I never remember how much stuff costs. I always kind of remember the neighborhood of it. Like, was it 22 and it was 25 or, you know, anyway. Um, and I just looked it up. I just looked up the price and I've already forgotten. So you can't say you should do your research before you film your videos. Um, because I do. And then I have like short term memory and I forget. Uh, try it. Try being 44 with two kids. Uh huh. Yeah. Maybe you are and you remember better than me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I need some ginkgo biloba. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say that. So this brush has a very solid construction. <laughs> and um, I enjoy that it's very dense, but it also has a lot of give. So sometimes dense brushes, for instance, this, ooh, lots of powder. This brush is a Morphe E44 brush and I love it and it's soft, but I do it for foundation because it's a shorter bristle and they're very dense, but they also kind of don't move as much. This brush though, oh my gosh, it could be even longer and bigger if you ask me. Um, and I love the, um, what's great about the synthetic fibers is that it really, grabs the product differently so um than like a natural hair fiber so like a goat hair or something ha with um that picks up a lot of product and pigment and synthetic seems to it depends on the synthetic though and it kind of depends on the way it's finished but i've noticed that with my synthetic brushes i can get a softer result so anyway, it's a really, it's, it's, you know, it's big diameter, great ferrule, ferro, I think this is called, and um, a nice solid handle. And so I love it. And I'm going to just, let me just put on, ooh, I'm going to do my doll 10 finishing powder. You know, this is the stuff that you can get on QVC and it like blurs everything. Do you see my forehead? I love it. Yeah. I'll list it. I'll list it below the doll 10 finishing powder. I don't know if I've actually featured this in a video. Um, so yeah, now I will say that my next favorite is this real techniques powder brush and this is nine or $10 depending on where you get it. This is definitely a favorite of mine, but I think that this one is just a little bit thicker and bigger than this one, but just a little bit, not much. So, you know, if you wanted to pick this one up, excellent choice. I also found this guy, same brand, Clotho Beauty, whatever, um, on Amazon. And it's a little bit like the Morphe. And it really reminds me of like an It Cosmetics brush, especially the shape of it. But it's good solid construction. Again, um, this is better for maybe some cream finishes or cream products. Um, gives a little more dense finish. It's not as fluffy, but you could still apply different powders with it. It just depends on the 
you know, what you're going for and you can just play with how much, um, pressure and that kind of stuff. But I, I like this one. I think I might use it for foundation and just see how it works because I love just putting foundation on. Anyway. Okay. And if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's the Jouer Skinny Dip. Um, I think it's in stock on Nordstrom.com if it's not stock, in stock on the Jouer website. And Dolce de Leche. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, like big pad of brushes. Mmm, I like them. So, first choice, this one. I know, I'm weird. What's new? All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me, and I am so glad you guys like this Bargain of the Week series, and I will continue to do them. Definitely click that thumbs up button if you like them too. Share with all your friends. Let them know where they can get bargains. And I will see you next video. Bye.